What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about 10 budget squad diamonds that you guys need on your team if you guys are balling on a budget. So 20,000 stubs and below we're gonna talk about my top 10 picks and actually we're gonna vary anywhere from I think 18,000 stubs is the most expensive diamond on this list all the way down to about probably 6,000 stubs so if you're one of those that are balling on a budget this video is probably for you and there are many of you guys there are many players out there that you know don't really buy stubs can't grind too much but still but still have a good decent amount of stubs but not enough to build like a full diamond team so this should round out your team if you need a couple more diamonds and i hope this helps you out if it does make sure you guys leave a subscribe and like down below we couldn't make it to 300 likes on the last video we almost we almost did but let's do another like goal here for a $10 PSN in the next video and we're gonna make it a little bit smaller Let's do 150 likes on this video. I'll drop the $10 PSN in the next one So but yeah, like I was saying before if you look into the standings and lifetime there are 14,915 pages just in rank seasons alone in spring training alone in spring training alone 1,693 pages at 18 per that's that's an insane amount of players in spring training we go to regular season let's go all the way to like yeah wild card wild cards probably one where not everyone has a full diamond team but that's just that's thousands of pages of players that still are looking for you know some diamonds to fill out their team so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today and I'm gonna talk about it right now so we're actually gonna go from the bottom up and these guys are a little bit cheaper so let's filter it out to 20,000 stubs the first guy I want to talk about is Anthony Rizzo 85 overall diamond live series who was actually on my team for a very very long time first probably first month and a half I had Anthony Rizzo on my team at gold. This was before he went diamond too. So look at this. Batted 171 at bats for me. 54 hits, 316 average, 13 home runs. He was leading my team in home runs as a gold. And I had diamonds all over the lineup as well. So, but as you guys can see here, a lot of this, you're going to see a good trend here. This is what you're going to want out of your like budget diamonds. You're going to want diamonds with a lot of vision and Anthony Rosa does have that 81 vision so he's gonna play very well for you in the higher difficulties as well and that's still usable for lefty on lefty right there and then I mean fielding is probably one of the best for her first baseman too but you're not really gonna be worrying about that so Anthony Rizzo is the first guy on the list that I wanted to show you guys to take a look at right 6677 stubs or 5651 if you guys are a little bit more patient so that's very affordable, right? This game gives out a lot of, like, stubs and rewards, so you should. If you're not buying packs, don't buy packs. If you want a budget squad, if you want diamonds, don't buy packs. I know I buy a lot of packs on my channel, but just stay away from them, guys. Like, I just spent over 100,000 stubs yesterday on packs and did not get anything. So it can happen to anyone. You could have a hot streak like I did with diamonds, but it could just be taken away just like that. But, yeah, so invest in players and just be smart about your stubs, and you're not going to have a problem like grabbing these players that we mentioned today so the next guy on the list we've actually got ted williams who's a pretty similar player lefty bat if you can get past the right field left field fielding at 65 i wouldn't say put him at left field at all keep him at right field if you're gonna play him but regardless he's got 93 vision look at that another another player with really high vision 99 and 76 contact 68 and 83 power with that 93 vision very good clutch so Ted Williams has always had like a pretty good swing too. So this card is going to be, you know, one of the top balling is a budget players that you guys should be taking a look at. 7,000 stubs if you guys are more patient and take him from the cell now. So he's got, he's just got a great swing and I think you guys are going to like this card a lot. So the next man on the list, I think you have everyone. I think everyone should pick this up. He is still on my team to this day. We've got Steve Finley. Yes, he's only batting a 293 for me and 334 bats. But oh my goodness, does he come up in the clutch all the time for me. 81 vision, 75 and 70 contact, 80 and 87 power. It doesn't even matter. I feel like every swing he takes is a good one. Another one of those where the swing feels amazing. And if you guys hit lefties well, yes, I'm putting a lot of lefties on this list. If you guys are hitting lefties well too, this list is probably perfect for you. And honestly, Steve Finley, 86 fielding, that's great fielding. He's still crushing the ball for me on Hall of Fame. So 700, that's 700 plus in ranked seasons is all of fame difficulty. 
and I swear to God, guys, this is one of the my favorite cards this year. And only 6,400 stubs. You can get these cards. Remember, you can get most of these cards, like the Ted Williams and Steve Finley. You can get these for free in the, the XP rewards that we get. So next up, we've got actually a pitcher. This one's a little bit more expensive. Fernando Rodney, 88 overall, 14,988. Still under that 20,000 budget that we have today. 11,520 sell now. So big gap there. So you can probably get it for around 12,000 stubs. But a guy that has that 107 hits per nine with the 118 clutch at 95 velocity and break as well. Home runs per nine is very important this year. So when you see a guy with these stats, you know, I'm, I'm going to want to pick them up. I don't currently have Fernando Rodney because I have some other plans for my team. But I've actually got a pretty good bullpen. I started my bullpen out very very well i got trevor hoffman right away so i didn't really need fernando rodney but but if you're balling on a budget two seam fastball circle change fastball and a slider those are the exact pitches that you want if this card had like a splitter or something it would be even better but 98 99 mile per hour fastballs with a nasty circle change and slider you can kind of see where I'm going with this with Fernando Rodney. So pick another card that you should probably really pick up. Next up, we're going to go up a little bit here. We got Kerry Wood, who's currently still on my team. The only downside to Kerry Wood right now, and I think we can kind of say it's okay that this is the downside. It's the base on balls per nine and the control. If you're a little bit better at pitching, I would say probably switch to like analog pitching. But if you're a little bit better at pitching, Kerry Wood... And that control, it's not going to bother you much. But 92 stamina, 92 hits per nine, 109 case per nine. Still on my team, 0.93 whip, 72 record for me at a 3.52 ERA. Not the best, but that whip, he's, he's allowing one hit, less than one hit per inning right now. So 92 velocity, has great pitch repertoires as well. Forcing fastball, slurve, 12-6 curve, and that changeup. So the slurve on this card is absolutely nasty too. And another card that you guys can pick up from the XP reward path. So next we got, we're actually going to go up by one here. Keston Hira. I cannot believe his price dipped this much. 14517 12000 at the sell now. If you're looking for a second baseman, second base is pretty thin this year still, right? They just came out with the shortstops. And if you can't afford the Roberto Alomar and have not taken the signature series out of the XP reward path yet, Kesson Hero might be on your team for a while here. Very good for me in my debut. Three for four in that debut with the home run that I had him with. 87 and 95 contact with 71 and 79 power. Good power there and great vision too for a future stars card 78 vision 91 clutch and fielding and arm strength is very good too for a second baseman 78 fielding is you know very usable over at second base too. 68 arm strength you don't really need that unless really there's a shift then it could be a problem but 88 Kesson here is definitely worth the look here I picked him up at around 40,000 subs so you can see how much his price has dipped and it's probably going to keep dipping. The next two guys we actually have are both pitchers. And I'm going to throw Nolan Ryan on this list at 89 overall. Because some of you guys might not pick him up right away. Most of you guys are probably going to go with the 99 signature series Clayton Kershaw out of, you know, the XP reward path. But if you don't take the Nolan Ryan and you do take the Clayton Kershaw, this 89 overall Nolan Ryan will work for you guys just fine, I think. Another one of those where it's got low balls on balls per nine, base on balls per nine, and low control. So it's going to be a little bit harder. You're going to have to work a little bit harder pitching with this card. 111 stamina, though. 94 hits per nine. 118 Ks per nine. Those, those are elite Ks per nine right there. 99 velocity. Can reach 101 miles per hour. 93 break fastball that goes 100 miles per hour and then you give him a 12-6 curve at 83 miles per hour yeah it's game over so Nolan Ryan makes it on the list even though he does have a signature series player and for that reason and for the reason that people are probably going to be taking Clayton Kershaw instead so next up this one this is probably really under the radar right now and I actually might pick him up for my five spot here but Bob Feller I really like using his Amora card, but another card that's very similar to Nolan Ryan. So if you have both on your team, you're going to be doing pretty well. You do need good pitchers this year to really get anywhere in rank season. So these two that I just showed you guys 
are very viable cards. 116 stamina, very similar. Hits per nine is a little bit lower. 112 case per nine. Velocity is right about up there with the Nolan Ryans and 83 break. He's got a sinker, slider, curveball, and four seamer. I would say, get a card with sliders, even though Nolan Ryan doesn't have a slider, right? He didn't on this card. Yeah, he didn't have a slider. But I usually say get a card with like a splitter and a slider too. So and with a changeup and a good fastball. So those two cards are gonna be very good for you on the team. The next two guys you guys can actually get for free in the new fourth inning program. But I'm gonna put them two in the list. The third guy is Whitey Ford, and he's not gonna make it on the list today because I don't think he's gonna be very good at this price right now. But the next two guys, we've got Greg. Holland all right, so this is a card that you need to pick up whether you get him for free from the fourth inning program or buy him outright at this price but a closing pitcher slider Splitter fastball. We just talked about it right hits per nine at 104 case per nine at 115 99 break 86 velocity is still gonna reach 98 miles per hour 113 clutch a little bit better control than the cards I was just showing you guys too So the price is gonna continue to drop on this but do not overlook Greg Holland because you want to pick up the Aubrey Huff or something, right? Don't overlook Greg Holland. Still a great card. And they're cheap. You'll be able to pick one out of the, after 100 program stars, 200 program stars, you'll, you'll be able to pick one up. And then, but yeah, the last guy on the list, Aubrey Huff, the other guy. You saw me debut him and he went three for five with the home run and two doubles. That was a great debut by Aubrey, Aubrey Huff. Honestly, I play him at first base. I wouldn't play him at third. So if you need a first baseman, and I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too bad at third base either, but you're looking at 60 fielding with 65 arm strength. But yeah, he played very well for me at first base. 99 and 95 contact, 88 and 76 power with the 105 vision. I love this swing. This was a fun card to use. So most people are probably going to pick up the Aubrey Huff after their 200 program stars for the free one but either or if you're picking up Aubrey Huff buy the Greg Holland if you're picking up Greg Holland buy the Aubrey Huff both cards are gonna be great for you and I think you're not going to be disappointed I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with any of these diamonds on here if you're balling on a budget right so I hope this video helped you guys out there that don't have that many stubs that you know need a little bit more help and more guidance to build their team to the way you guys want it so they're coming out with a lot of good cards guys they're coming out with a lot of good cards like Aubrey Huff is an amazing card to use and I say pick them up it's well worth the stubs right now too and it's for us for those of you that do have a little bit more stubs too it's very cheap right so but yeah guys if you enjoyed today's video leave a like down below remember 150 likes $10 PSN in the next video and if you're new leave a sub thank you guys so much for 28 thousand subscribers if you want to watch the next videos i got a video right here and also a video right here make sure you guys leave us up watch this one right here this one's gonna be good right thank you guys again and as always i'll